Peace be upon you all guys running the world in this tutorial uh, or in this video I'm going to, to do this exercise in Python we already do a bunch of videos you just check the description of our website to find them all with uh, the source code of course all right this is the exercise that we have to, uh, today give to uh, given to integer numbers returning the product if the product is greater than thousand they return their sum so here uh, we're gonna use the if statement so first of all let's define what is the number numbers all right so as you see right here that uh, the, this exercise uh, order has to do let me just read it again uh, to do uh, some of the two numbers if the two numbers greater than thousands we have to return uh, I'm sorry if the multiplication of these two numbers greater than thousands we have to return their sum or we have to print their sum instead of the product all right so first of all let's just go uh, do number one equal integer input not just let the user choose any number you want choose or the given number give the first number first like this and the second one is the same just here let's just change it to two and here second number Uh, here uh, we're going to do an if statement and say if number or let's just do here the sum equal number one plus number two all right and again the multiplication or the product product equal these two all right good so if the number or if the sum let's just if the sum or the product let's just start about the product if, or uh, if the product is greater than thousand or well, let's just say greater or equal and uh, we'll just leave it like this greater uh, then thousands is print what we have to print here we have to print their product their sum sorry so we have to print in this sum else print the product otherwise if the product uh, smaller than thousands is gonna print the, the product of them all right so here this is this is the code we could here easily do a uh, define a function and then call all of this kind of stuff by just uh, I jumped over here without creating any functions so just let's save it or run it to see how we uh, how we're gonna work like this and as you see my um, name it one for that time the pi so uh giver i'm sorry so let's just write it again that's pi so the first number for instance if it's four and the second number is four so the expect output here to be 16. so as you see here 16. so we could here do something like uh, the sum is like this and here do the product is the product is like this let's just save it and do here a while loop to repeat this uh, how many times we want so while true well 
we're going to do this steps here. So that's it. Let's save it and rerun it again. One dot pi. And first number for instance five multiplied by five. So the expert output here it is twenty five. All right. Again here. So let me just do a print space here like this. Let's rerun it. Uh, one the pi so uh, let's just now do 50 multiply by for instance 43 so the expert output here it is 150 as you see now we're going to multiply 50 by 50 so here if you multiply 50 by 50 is gonna uh, equal so let me just calculate the reason equal to 2500 so it's greater than 1000. So now the expert output is 100 because to return their sum instead of the product. As you see right here, that is 100. So as you see here, the sum is. All right, cool. That's it. So let's just run it. Choose any number you want. 8 multiplied by 9. Uh, 72 and 60 multiplied by 60 is going to return their sum 120. All right, as you see, 120. So it's, that's it. It's quite, uh, quite easy to, to do this. I hope you get, get it well. And thank you for watching. See you for the next tutorials.